Okay, dear subscribers and viewers of someone's room, this is another moment I come to you to share with the message which I believe by God's grace. It's going to help you. And uh, let us have the word of prayer. Father, please, what I want to share, let this be acceptable before you, before I speak it. That at least it might make somebody today to know you and to make a step towards spirituality and knowing Jesus Christ. But not only the matter of me speaking, but also I pray that you will also help me to know you more and to make a step as I share this truth. Please, I welcome your Holy Spirit to hover over me and uh, also to move upon that person who is listening in this moment and watching. May your Holy Spirit be upon us and in us, convict us, but also, I pray that let your name be glorified in our lives. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, this is another moment I come to share with you this truth. I believe some will listen and some will not. But that's, I, don't, I don't want to talk much about that. But today I want to share with you something which is very important. The message of today is different. The message of today is different. Uh, because its intention is for you to make a change. Yes, I'm calling you to make a change, but also uh, it's a message which is, I believe, it's also it is very important. Why it's very important? Because I have to share with you this. There's no any goodness in going to the church and keeping the Sabbath. And worshiping and giving tithes and all those things, but they still get lost at the end of the time. But the main things that God has provided for us, so I'm going to share with you, my friend, myself, I'm still in the process of the other things, but I can share something which I believe God has helped me to do. And so I believe the many things I have to learn myself because uh, Christianity um, is, is a journey, it's not uh, just one step. It's a journey, and so I don't want to talk much about that. But today I want to share with you something about Nicodemus' visit to Jesus, something which is very important for every Christian. That's the first thing. Let us go to the book of John, chapter 3, verse 1. Uh, that's where we are going to start. There was a man of Pharisee, of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews, the same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God, for no man can do the miracles that thou dost except God with him, be with him. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Jesus, our, from here we can get a point of who was Jesus Christ. What I don't, what I, I'm not talking, going to talk about who was Jesus, but what I want to focus is uh, about the statement Jesus Christ said. But before that, we want to see who was Jesus Christ in this. When we find these words that Nicodemus said, means he had made a, a thorough research because he was a Pharisee. And Pharisees were educated people, but still they were genius. No matter, I don't want to say they were genius, but still they had a brain. Okay, that's wisdom, understanding for a person to be a Pharisee, and especially to be the uh, to be a member of Sanhedrin. And so uh, was Nicodemus, and he was rich. So he did not go to Jesus because he wanted money, but there's something that Nicodemus saw in Jesus Christ, which he earned to have. And with all the religious leaders, he was, he was with it together. I did not get that. So he saw it in that humble man, Jesus Christ. But because Jesus was poor, he was not famous like having fancy car of those times, the donkey and the horses. He did not have many clothes which were luxurious. Uh, his friends were poor. Okay, fisherman, but he had power which nobody could withstand. So he needed that, but he wanted to know who was Jesus Christ.
That was the question of Nicodemus. Who are you? Let me, let me read this one. The same came to Jesus by night. That's verse 2. And said unto him, Labai, we know that thou art a teacher. We know. Means people knows. We know that the teacher sent from God. Okay? For no man do miracles, except God be with him. Means I want to know something from you. There's something I need. Can you tell me? And so, that because of those words, Jesus could read the intention of Nicodemus. That's why he answered. That was the right answer to Nicodemus. Because that was the question, that was the great need of Nicodemus. Because the way he saw Jesus, he found that I need something. I need to be like this man. He was a teacher, but he did not have that power that Jesus Christ had. And so he had to... To go to Jesus, at least he can get that. Okay? And so that's what you say. Very, very, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So that's the first thing Nicodemus needed. And that's the first thing every one of us needs to be born again. Let us listen to verse 4. And Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into the mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Means he repeated the same statement but added the information. Uh, we learned that God, when he says something, when at least he knows that you have got it, but we need to understand it better, he repeats the same thing, but still he has the information. You can sit in the Bible, in our own experience with God, we see some of the information concerning salvation is repeated, but if it's the more information, it means God knows that you have got it. You may not understand it clearly, but he knows that from your heart you have not rejected the truth, because the Bible says those who have will be, add, will be given more things, but those who don't have, even that small thing that you have shall be taken away. And so what Jesus Christ is saying is, what you need more? You need to enter the kingdom of God? You didn't know how that is done? You need the, to be born of the Spirit. The main thing that Jesus Christ spoke here, you can lead from, uh, to, the, to 16, okay? Verse 16, going on 17, 20, 21. We see it, but up to 14, that's where they the stole about it is crosses. Though Jesus keeps talking, but still the, the answer is given to verse 14. I want to read it completely. You can go to your cell, take your time, read it prayer free. I believe you're going to find something interesting and important for your spiritual nourishment. But one sees when you to enter the kingdom of God. There's a kingdom of God here, there's a kingdom of heaven kingdom of God in heaven, okay? Yes, you want to go on both sides. I'm not here to talk about uh, many things. I just want to talk about this. What we we tell, we need life, okay? We need life. But before we go to all those things which are spiritual and many, many things in the kingdom of God, the first step we need is to be born again. Going to the church, keeping the Sabbath, Studying the Bible, Bible, Bible study guide every day, other systematic Bible studies and all those things, they are important. I don't say they are useless, they are important because you sharpen your intelligence. But if you, don't, you are not being born again, it's a wastage of time. The moment you are born again, those information become variable. But when you're not born again, it will be a, a very good presenter of the fact but which are, which are powerless. You'll be a good presenter of the fact, biblical fact, theological analysis, theological presentation. You can, you can just be a, proje- a good apologetic, but still, you will be a powerless man. Why? Because you are not born of the spirit. Just like our person is born of the flesh, what is done? The, the, the boy has nothing to do 
who is to be conceived and to be born. It's all of all those things, all those first, all those steps are outside of the baby as well. Sure. Do you get that example? When a, a woman is pregnant, that baby is not. He cannot say, I want to go out of the womb. He cannot say, I don't want to be conceived. Conceived. The time will come, he will get out. Okay? He will not say, I want to remain in this womb forever. No. The time will come, he will be pushed out because of environment, hormones, and so many things. When he reaches nine months, he goes out. Or it goes out. But there are steps which depends on the baby after being born, suckling and, and so many things. But those are things that we are going to study by God's grace. If God gives me those graces myself, I need to know them more and to experience them more other steps after being born again. But the first thing is, oh God, take this away. And so what I want to share with you is the first step that we need, my friend. Because if you get this, even if you die, you're going to heaven. It's not about much, no. If you know this, you are in the church, you are going to heaven. You are going to see the kingdom of God when Jesus Christ comes, the kingdom of heaven, when Jesus Christ comes. But the first thing we need is that he has to be born again. And we are born of the Spirit. What can we do is to pray, is to seek God, is to put our eyes to start about Jesus Christ. Because that's the only thing that we can do. We allow that environment. Just like our man, when a woman needs a baby boy, what happens? You need a man. She needs a man. And when she gets a man, they met together. All those things happen. Then there's environment, hormones, and so things. Then, But the baby to be born, he has nothing to do. And so all things are done by the spirit. As long as you're willing, means things are in the process. Keep studying. The Holy Spirit is the one who does the things. You are born of the Spirit. That's like a child is born of a mother. You're born of the flesh. So you have to be born of the Spirit. So you can become two. One. But my friend, we need to be born again. You may be a pastor. You may be an evangelist. You may be a member, church member and whatever kind of person it can be. But what is important is to be born again. Study the Bible, pray. The Holy Spirit will talk to this to you, even if it's from external, but the Spirit will talk, will direct you to the light source to study it more. May God bless you. Let us have the prayer. Father, thank you. I believe I've spoken something which I believe will help somebody to get a picture. Please help us to know more. In Jesus' name, amen.